Hello and welcome to the video. So in this video we're going to talk about one of my uh, favourite conventional bids, which is the Jacoby to no trump response. And it's a way of showing a good raise in partners opening major suits. Now there's different types of Jacoby responses and uh, I'm going to talk about my favourite version, uh, which is a game forcing version. So if you look elsewhere about uh, different ways of bidding this Jacoby to no trump response, just bear in mind that they might be doing a different process than I am. There's no one set way of doing it. So the Jacoby to no trump response then, partner opened one of a major, doesn't matter whether it's hearts or uh, spades, and then our immediate response is to no trumps. Now this then shows a good fit, so four or more cards in that major. And it shows gain 14 values, so at least 13 points um, or more. And what that does then is ask partner to define their hand a little bit further. So let's have a look at some uh, example uh, rebits. So if opener doesn't have a shortage in another suit, then they've got two options. They can either raise the, uh, the, the major to the four level, and that would say, look, I'm weak maybe 10, 11, 12, 13 points, something like that, and I've got no slam interest. And if we raise to four of the major, then that says, look, I'm strong, I'm interested in doing a slam, but I don't have a shortage in a side suit. So one heart, three heart is strong, looking for a slam, and then one heart, four heart is weak, uh, showing no uh, slam interest, and obviously with the uh, tuna trump in between. So if we do have a short in another suit, we can bid three of a minor, and that says I've got a singleton in that suit, or we can bid four of the minor, and that says I'm void in that suit. So we can be very specific about our responses there. Now it's slightly different if we have a major shortage, in that we don't want to jump to four of a major um, unless we're particularly strong. So if we go to four of a major, that says, look, I'm void in that suit, and I have a slam interest. Um, otherwise, we'll bid three of the of the major to show a singleton or a void if we're weak. So let's put that into uh, some orders. After one heart, no trumps, three heart, that's a good hand with no shorty. So interested in going to a slam. One heart, two no trumps, four heart is a bad hand with no shortages. But obviously the two no trumps was a gain forcing response. And so that immediate jump to gain is weak and, you know, semi-preemptive kind of feel to it. If we're one spade, two no trump, three clubs, I've got a singleton club. One heart, two no trump, four diamonds, I've got a, a void in diamonds. One spade, two no trump, three hearts, I've got a singleton heart. Or I've got a void in heart, uh, but I'm very weak. And then one no trump, uh, sorry, one spade, no trump four heart is on void in heart and I've got a strong hand. Now by strong hand we're looking at say 15 plus points with a void as well. So that makes it good enough to be a strong hand opposite partners 13 plus points. And another one, one heart, no trump, three no trumps would be a balance 15 to 17 points. So we've got the option then of perhaps just playing in three no trumps, maybe into four hearts. Uh, maybe it's then going to prompt partner to go on and look for a slam. But it just defines our hand quite nicely. So let's have a look at a specific example. And this is a, a live example that happened a few weeks ago um, on our online club. And this is the hand that I had. And you can see I've got 13 points and a singleton club. And I opened one heart. And you'll notice it's not a great hand. So I opened one heart and then partner responded, no trumps. So I know now that partner has a good strong hand with four card support in heart. Now my duty then is to further define my hand. So if you want to pause the video for a moment and work out what my bid should be, now's the time to do it. Okay, so I should reply three clubs. So I reply three clubs, which says I've got a, a shorted in clubs, I've got a singleton club, and then partner Q bid and bid three diamonds. Now the three diamond bid here um, in our agreed uh, so, uh, system shows first or second round control in diamonds. Now I'm sat with the ace of diamonds, so that means the partner's either got the king of diamonds or a singleton or void in diamonds, and that increases the value of my hand. So if we look at this, I've got two losing diamonds, two small diamonds there, at least one of those is going to go away 
um, on a partner's uh, second round control. I then qubid my spade. So I bid three spades to say okay, I've got first or second round control in spades. And also I've gone past the heart suit now, so we're looking uh, very much towards going first slam. Partner then qubid clubs, which says he's got first or second round control of clubs. Now, if that's the ace of clubs, that's great because my singleton club goes away. If that was second round control in clubs, then that's not so great because we definitely then have a loser in clubs. So I then ask for uh, the key card. This is Roman key card Blackwood. I will do a video on the key card, uh, but for now, it's just enough to know that we've got five key cards, four races, and the king of trumps. And obviously, hearts here is the trump suit. Partner's response of five spades tells me that he has um, two key cards and the queen of hearts. So it's a, you can tell it's a really useful uh, bit of information for me to know. So he's either got two aces plus the queen of trumps, or he's got one ace, the king of hearts, and the queen of hearts. So either way, that's looking good enough for me now, and I bid six hearts, and that's where we played. So a question now would be to try and work out what sort of hand would partner have to bid two no trumps, and then cubit the diamonds, and then cubit the, uh, the, the clubs, and then to respond to show he's got two key cards and the queen of trumps. So if you want to pause the video now and work out what sort of hand partner would have, now's the time to do it. So here's partner's hand. So he cubit the clubs, and you can see he's got the ace of clubs there. He cubit the diamonds, and you can see that he's got the second round control of diamonds. Now, it's second round control either because it's the king or because it's a singleton. Either way, it's still good enough to cubit. And you can tell that my cubit of spades would have made his hand look a bit better because he's got four small spades. And so by me cubiting spades, that means that some of his losers are going to go away. And so you can tell that this hand now is looking uh, very good for a slam. If you uh, want to sort of have a, uh, a look at the number of points that we have, between the two hands, I've got 13 points and partner's got 14 points. That's 27 points between the two hands and we can bid and make six hearts. Now, just going back to some of the losing trick count bids that we've uh, discussed in previous videos, without doing the Jacobi 2 no trump response, how would we be able to bid this hand? So we'd still bid one heart and then partner with their 14 points. Obviously, shouldn't bid straight away to four hearts. They should bid much more slowly. They're too strong to go straight to four. And so they should bid one spade. And then with my hand, um, over here on the left, we've got a fit in spades now that we know about, and we can count our losers. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six losers. So as the opener, I can then jump to three spades. So it would go one heart, one spade, three spades. And then this hand, would this hand then want to go on further from that point? We can count losers. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven losers. So they're better than an opening hand. But bear in mind that my opening hand didn't have enough to jump straight to game. So it's not showing a super strong hand. It's only showing a stronger hand by one loser than a, than a standard opening hand. And so I don't think then you would find uh, going to six hearts or indeed six spades. Um, I think you would actually then just play in four hearts or four spades. So without the Jacobi 2 no trump response, this is very difficult to then bid a slam. So it's something that's well worth adding into your armory, this Jacobi 2 no trump response. Once you've discussed it and done it a couple of times, everything feels quite natural about the bidding uh, sequence. And then you can bid these uh, very thin slams. So I hope that you found that useful. Um, if you want to subscribe to the video channel, um, then you'll get notifications um, as you uh, as new videos are uploaded. But for now, thank you very much.